Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion. Um, chapter three, we are on page 137 of the second grade Go Math textbook. Our today, today, our lesson is relating addition and subtraction. And our essential question is, is how are addition and subtraction related? Basically, for every addition fact, there are also subtraction facts that are that can be used to help solve the subtraction problem. So one way we can do it is to complete a bar model to show a problem. For instance, listen to the following question. The soccer team has eight red balls and seven yellow balls. How many soccer balls does the team have? Well, you notice that we have this bracket here underneath and is joining this side with this side. That means combined, this is the whole. So what we have to do is eight plus seven. And we can use the math fact, the doubles fact, seven plus seven plus one. Okay. We can change the 8 to 7, double it. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So 8 plus 7 is an addition fact that we should know. And 7 plus 8 is also related to that, right? Now for these two addition problems, there are also two subtraction problems that are related. I'm having problems with it focusing today. All right, so listen to this question. The soccer team has 15 balls inside the locker room. The children took the seven yellow balls outside. How many soccer balls were inside? Okay, so we have this missing number, right? So the opposite of addition is subtraction. So we know that these two boxes combined is 15. Well, we have one of the add-ins, 7. We have to find the missing one. So we can take the subtract, we can take this, subtract 7, and it'll give us the missing add-in. Okay. And what multi, what addition fact could we use that's related to this? Well, we know that 7 plus 8 is 15, right? So 15 minus 7 is eight. Okay. And so we could say 15 minus seven equals eight. And the other related fact is 15 minus eight is seven. So what do you notice about these two problems? Well, eight plus seven, 15. Seven plus eight, 15. 15 minus seven, eight. 15 minus eight, seven. It's all the same digits, right? So that's how they're related. All right, let's look at page 138. So we can use addition facts to remember differences. Related facts have the same whole and parts. That's what we were just talking about. Seven plus eight equals 15. It has the same fact, same parts and same whole, 15. We can think of the add-ins, the numbers that we add, in addition fact to find the difference for a related subtraction fact. So that's why one of the standards for second grade is to memorize the math facts up to 20. You should be able to fluently add and subtract within 20 using mental strategies. And by the end of grade two, know for memory all sums of two one-digit numbers, okay? And this is why, because it'll help us with finding missing numbers like this. So in this problem, we see that six and seven combine to give us 13. Remember, the bracket underneath is joining these two, so it's saying that these two boxes together give us 13. Well, here we're missing one of the add-ins. So, we can subtract the add-in that we know, 
to find the missing add-in. And 13 minus 7 is 6, because 7 plus 6 is 13. So if we were writing the related facts for 6 plus 7, we would say 6 plus 7 is 13, or 7 plus 6 is 13. We could also say 13 minus 7 is 6, or 13 minus 6 is 7. All right, so let's look at this. Write the sum and the difference for the related math facts. 5 plus 4 equals what? Well, if we did 5 plus 5, that would be 10, right? But 4 is 1 less than 5, so 10 minus 1 would be 9. If I wanted to have this subtraction problem, 9 take away 4, it would tell me the missing math addition fact for 5 plus 4, right? 9 minus 5, um, 9 minus 4 is 5. 2 plus 7, we know, is 9. So if 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 take away 2 gives us 7. 3 plus 8 is 11. If we take away 8 from 11, that gives us 3, because 8 plus 3 is 11. 5 plus 8 is 13. So 13 minus 5. Again, think of what addition fact I could use to get an answer of 13. 5 plus what is 13? 5 plus 8. So 13 minus 5 is 8. 8 plus 1, 9. So if you have 9 and you take away 1, it should give you the other add-in. We can also think of it as 9, if 9 minus 1, then 1 plus what would give me 9? 8. 9 plus 9, that's a doubles fact, 18. And so 18 take away 9, 9 plus what is 18? 9. 8 plus 7 is 15. How did I solve that? 7 plus 7 is 14. Add one more, 15. So 15 take away 8. 8 plus what is 15? 7. 4 plus 7, that's 11. So 11 minus 7, 7 plus what is 11? 4. 7 plus 5 is 12. What I did in my head is 5 plus 5 plus 2. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. 12 minus 7, 7 plus what is 12? 7 plus Five. Look at page 139. So we'll continue to practice. Write the sum and the difference for the related fact. 4 plus 3. We should know that that's 7. So what is a related subtraction fact for 4 plus 3 equals 7? 7 minus 3 equals what? 3 plus what is 7? 4. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 take away 6. 6 plus what is 8? 2. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 6 is what? So 6 plus what is 10? 4. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 minus 7. Think to yourself, 7 plus what is 10? 3. 8 plus 6. Well, 6 plus 6 is 12, and 8 is 2 more than 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. 14 take away 6. Think to yourself, which addition fact could I add? 6 plus what will give me a sum of 14? The math fact 6 plus 8. 
Now here, don't get confused about this, okay? Remember, whatever's on the left-hand side of the equal sign has to equal what's on the right-hand side, okay? So we always won't see it 8 plus 6 equals. It's the same idea, okay? So 9 plus 3 is what? It's 12, okay? So 12 equals 3 plus 9. So what is 12 minus 9? Well, 9 plus what is 12? 3. 6 plus 5 is 11. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus one more is 11. So 11 take away 5. I ask myself, 5 plus what is 11? 6. 7 plus 7 is double fact, 14. So 14 take away 7. 7 plus what is 14? 7. 9 plus 6 is 15. So 15 take away 9. 9 plus what is 15? 6. 5 plus 9 is 14. So 14 take away 9. I can think to myself, 9 plus what is 14? 5. Again, we have the problem on the right-hand side. We just have to put what the sum is on the left-hand side. 8 and 4 more, 12, and 12 minus 4. 4 plus what is 12? We should be able to say 8. 9 plus 7 is 16. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this in your head. If you don't know what 9 plus 7, you could say 7 plus 7 is 14, and add 2 more because 9 is 2 more than 7. So 7 plus 7, 14 plus two more is 16. 16 take away seven. Seven plus what is 16? Nine. All right, write a related subtraction fact for each addition fact. Okay, now there's two possible answers for 22 through 25. I'm gonna go ahead and write them both. If seven plus eight is 15, then a related subtraction problem would be 15 minus eight, equals 7, or 15 minus 7 equals 8. 5 plus 7 is 12, so 12 minus 7 is 5, or 12 minus 5 is 7. 6 plus 7 is 13, so 13 minus 7 is 6, or 13 minus 6 is 7. And 25, 9 plus 8 is 17, so we could say 17 minus 8 is 9, or 17 minus 9 is 8. Page 140. Write or draw to explain. Trevor has seven kites. Pam has four kites. How many more kites does Trevor have than Pam? Okay, well, we can draw a picture. Trevor. Trevor has seven, and Pam has four. So, how many more does Trevor have? He has three more kites. So we could say seven minus four. Twenty-seven. Mr. Sims has a bag of seven pairs and a bag of six pairs. His family eats five pairs. How many pairs does he have now? He has a bag of seven and a bag of six. His family eats five. All right, well, there's a bag of seven, and he also has a bag of six. 
all right. And his family ate five. One, two, three, four, five. So how much does he have left? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pairs left. Now, is there a different way we could have solved this problem? Sure. Seven plus six minus five. So we could have said 13 minus 5 equals what? And we could have said 5 plus 8 equals 13. So 8 pairs. 28. Ellen counts 7 geese in the water and some geese on the shore. There are 16 geese in all. Draw a picture to show the two groups of geese. 7 geese in the water. 16 geese in all. All right. Okay, so I could use a bar model to solve this, right? So this means seven plus this box is 16. So seven plus something equals 16, or 16 minus 7 equals what? Well, what math fact do you know for 7? 7 plus what is 16? What math fact? Well, 7 and 7 is 14, right? So I need two more. 7 plus 2 is 9. So there are 9 geese in the water. Uh, nine geese on the shore. So we can say 16 minus 7 equals 9. Okay. All right, so that's it for relating addition and subtraction. And so until our next lesson, I will see you soon.